welcome back to Midford Pottery. Uh, a long awaited kiln opening for you in this video. Uh, so lots of, I've never looked, it's, it's cool, so I've never looked. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got a few tester pieces in there, so could be anything. So I'm just going to move the camera so we can see in and we will open the kiln. So I'm going to go there, like that, tilt that down like that. Just gives the arm. So I think we can see there, can we? Yeah, we're in shot there. Right, there we go. Right, let's take the catch off. Like I say, I've never, I've never even peaked. So it could be anything. Well, nothing's melted so far. We'll give you a quick top-down view. So there we are, full, full house. Well, we'll do this disappointing plate, shall we? So this is our orange, which is terrible glaze. Scarver, stop selling it. It's rubbish. And that was on just a flat surface and it disappeared. It's just gone shiny. Anyway. That's one done. Let's have a look. We have... Uh, around these so that is a uh, floating blue and dip twice on the top so you get that uh, texture but nice finish good good I think it was floating blue it might be ocean yeah thinking it might be ocean and uh, this ball which again I was trying a combination uh, there's floating blue ocean and then I was like oh I'll have that nice orange glaze in the middle as a contrast but that's it it's totally disappeared off there so that's going to get re-glazed give it a bit of colour so very disappointed with that glaze very very disappointed I will be complaining to Scarver right next is some just some floating blue mugs and so these have had so that one was just floating blue on school buff reclaimed clay and this one is I can't even remember what I put on them now it's floating blue on school buff and then it was dipped in ocean I believe Ocean's definitely the better of the two glazes. Make sure well that's all on. Uh, again, another one there. Combination of blues. Nice finish. Just the uh, finish is a bit temperamental on some of them. Uh, especially the floating blue on the school buff. It's... I think it's the iron content. Now this is ocean and this is a teapot. So that's an ocean teapot. Very dark. Very dark. I don't know if the camera does it justice. Now it has a lid. So there's our lid. Does it still fit after the firing? <gasps> it fits! I love a teapot when it works. We'll do a test pour in a bit. There's a good one. It's one good one. One good item out of the kiln. Now, we have another teapot. This is copper ore. So it's actually very nice that. Maybe it's a bit too thick. I need to go a bit thinner, I think, on that. With a, or thicker. Might have to go thicker. That's on there. Uh, ES5 white stoneware. Good. We'll do a lid test in a minute. I'll put that over there because it's lids right at, at the bottom. Uh, we've got some skill buff and uh, we've got some lavender mist. Actually come out quite nice for a change. That lavender's quite temperamental as well. 
these are slab built and they've come out pretty good then pleased pleased for them they're good good finish on them now what we got under this little this little bit here Right, just get these little stilts out of here. Right. Uh, we got a slab which has survived. I'm going to cover the name up, but that's uh, a family plaque with flowers and a clear gloss. That's come out pretty nice, that. That's a good one. I'll put that over there. Now, let's get down into the nitty gritty. So, get this next shelf out of the way. What have we got? Well, first looks, it looks pretty good. Oh, we got a cone, our cones in here. So this was set to cone 6, and I had uh, 5, 6, 7, so it's firing a little hot, so that's a cone 7, it's nearly a cone 7, but the glazers seem to be holding up okay-ish, I think. <laughs> it depends, the school buff clears a nightmare anyway, so, so I'll put them over there. So. One of them is uh, a pink, and uh, I've tried it on the white clay and it's alright. This is on the school buff, and it's, comp it's sort of disappeared. It's a pink opal, I think it is. So that clear, and that one's uh, gone a bit cracked on the base, so... Perfectly usable, shiny glaze, but it's lost all the pink colour. But it works on a different clear better. Uh, what else did we have? Uh, now these two, well these three. These are school buff. This is June Perry Soft Pink. And it's supposed to blush, so them surrounded some uh, chrome green test tiles and it's supposed to go p a pink blush on it and I think it's just this clear didn't give it a blush nice finish nice sort of white colour but a very very slight hint of pink but usable nonetheless uh, what else we got we got some more floating blues which we will get out of the way. Some with double double blues. Uh, nothing much to say. Blue, oh, floating blue and ocean. Ocean's definitely the keeper, I think. Have to get a new recipe for me floating blue. So it's, uh, it's not brilliant. Uh, that was a copper ore on school buff with texture. That's come out very nice that. It's lovely that one. That was the bit that was next to the elements so it's gone a bit lighter. No ice. What else we got? We got a couple of different shapes. Now that was a goblet. Uh, that was floating blue and ocean. Nice, nice little goblet actually. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now, the other one I'm excited about, if it will come off this tray, oh it has. Now, try some, this is on school buff, so it's not the best clear to try it on. Because it's a bit rubbish and it's got a horrible mark in the bottom. This is uh, Scarver's new glaze, Krakatoa, their eruption range. And it's come out alright actually. Get little black specks. And we got two test tiles for this. So as you can see, 
School buff and white. This is the school buff, this is the white. The white you get a bit more of an orangey colour to it, so I think that's uh, okay. <clears throat> what else we got? Oh, we have another eruption. Now this is on white clear. This is B17C white stoneware. Cheap white stoneware. Uh, but it seems to like that one. So there we are. So you got the speckles. Didn't get the speckle application quite right. So they've all congregated on that side. Got a couple on the outside. Well that was a textured sort of tea bowl. Textured little textured bowl. At least the glaze come out okay. It's another good one. What else we got? Oh we've got a, a strange piece in here. This is copper ore and this is a toilet brush holder and it's cracked a bit there, it's come away at the joint there which is not good. Copper ore, toilet brush holder, of course uh, sanitary where you can't really have joints in it, especially sharp ones like that. Don't know how we're going to re we'll have a think how we can remedy that one, but it's f lovely finish, lovely finish, and we have some. Uh, oh, we've got another tall floating blue. Now I get where. So we got. So these are like plum with a pink liner glaze. That's what that pink's supposed to look like. I'll get the other cup back. So that's that pink. If you see the inside, that's the pink. Well, it's disappeared off this one. But that agate wears good. Got a couple of them. Couple of plums. Uh, so there's another plum, and there's a plum and orange. It's come out very. They've come out spectacular. Them. Love them when they work. They are great. We have another colour. This is uh, orange. That's just orange. It's got a little thumb mark on there on different colour. Lovely finish on them though. And you know what? No maker's mark on that. Must have forgot about that one. Yeah, these are the ones I've been waiting of. These I love these colours. So these is blacks and orange. So a black liner glaze. That's what they look like on the bottom. Swirled up. So I've got one that shape. A taller one, very similar. More of a foot carved on that one, thumb rest. Nice smooth edges as well. Lovely, I love them colours. So there's two. We've got another, a slightly rounder shape. Uh, the heat's getting to that one, it's a bit oval shape. Very good, very good. And the last one was a slightly different, it was more of a tankard shape. And that's worked out pretty good, that one. That's nice. Lovely, love them. Love it when a plan comes together. So we got them. Get rid of these props out here. A couple of these. A couple of them. Give that a wriggle. So there's nothing stuck to it. Ah, no. 
we have a disaster. <gasps> we have a disaster. The butter dish is getting where it's properly gone. The butter dish is gone. It's cracked. Oh dear. And it's curved. Nah, ha, teapot lid. Copper or teapot lid, copper or teapot. Does it still fit? <gasps> oh, when it still fits. Perfect fit. Hope they're a good pourer. We'll test them in a minute. We'll test them in a minute. Right, so more problematic orange glaze. Which were on these made in Sunderland on school buff. Totally disappeared. All a load of rubbish. Not happy with that. Not happy. Not happy with the school buff to tell you the truth. It's a bit of a pain. Yeah, school buff with copper ore. That one's going really curved, that one. That's terrible. It does not like glazers that clear. Does not like glazers. Now, what else we got? Oh, he's come out. If anybody's watched a series of unfortunate events, this is the salmon waiter. Don't ask why. But it's got a good finish on it. Uh, what we got? Well, this one survived. This is just a little little platter. Some decoration on it. That one's okay. Now we have a breakfast plates. Literally, literally breakfast plates. Bacon and egg. They come out all right then. Well, that one has. Let us test the next. See the next one. That one has survived as well. That bit was detached, so we've glazed it on. It's just moved a little bit, so it's a bit with no colour, just in there, but hardly noticeable. Survived, that's the main thing. Put them there. Get this last shelf out of the way. We'll see what's in the bottom. Right. There could be some dodgy stuff in the bottom here. Oh no! Windy Miller's fell over. Oh no. Windy Miller's had too much to drink and fell over and become part of the bank. Oh, he's come off. Hey! He's got a bit of a he's got a bit of a lane on him. Never mind. Poor Windy. Lovely finish on that though. Oh, he's come off. Hey, hey! He's come off his tray. And he's going with a windmill which we're making at the minute. Uh, this is a money box, or part of a money box. Need that bit grinding off because there's a bit sharp edge on there. Where's the other half of the money box? Let's have a look. There's the other half of the money box. The bank. And it's supposed to fit. Yeah. It don't fit. Never mind, don't fit. We'll cross that bridge in a minute. I've got a little figure, a little sculpted figure. He survived. 
can't believe he survived. Can't believe it. Now what else we got? So we've got some dodgy stuff here. Well there's the, a lid off a butter dish which now has a, a cracked base. And we have a blue butter dish which its base blew up in the first bisque firing. Which is not good. out the way. Uh, what else we've got here? These are other bits of a bank which are fence posts and believe it or not oh, more, most of them survived. Oh that one's come off as well. Hey they survived. Shame about the rest of it. Now we had a test of these bits. Other bits of the bank which are the locks, they actually survived. I mean it was an ambitious make to start with. It's very ambitious. And another one we have, Professor Yaffle from Bagpuss. He actually survived, I can't believe it. The one we thought would disintegrate survived. Pretty good finish. <laughs> Pretty good finish on that. And then we just have some <coughs> scraffito mugs. Blues and blacks. Blues and blacks, which I put over here. I'll empty them in a minute. Of course they're all the same, so I'll move the camera back and sum up. So half decent kiln that I suppose. School buff clear does cause issues, I must admit. Um, white clear, not so bad. Which is why I'm changing to a white stoneware clear. B17C instead of school buff. So I'll give you a closing shot of our of our all the wares. So thanks for watching. Remember, clears the way. I'll see you in another video very soon. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. I'll leave you with a, a parting shot of all our wares from today. So there we are.